to share with you a very delicious chile relleno stuffed with ground beef cheeses in this amazing and delicious creamy sauce that I'm sure you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my... poblano recipe these are the ingredients sour cream monterrey jack cheese himalaya salt black pepper garlic powder chicken bouillon ground beef lean ground beef queso fresco tomatoes poblano chili pots half an onion this is everything you need to enjoy this amazing and delicious chile poblano let's get started i want to start here by first roasting my chile poblanos this is the part that takes much longer getting all your chile poblanos roasted and looking just like this from each side once you have all your chile poblanos remember put them in a little plastic bag every single one so that they sweat and it's going to be so easy to remove the skin from the chile poblano well here i am going to continue with the rest and now I want to show you how I'm going to prepare my lean ground beef. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and then I'm just going to crush it and pull it apart just like this, making sure that all those spices really penetrate the ground beef. I'm adding a splash of water because this is extra lean ground beef so that it starts cooking in its own juices and its own fats. Just like this, once the ground beef has cooked completely, it's gonna take about 20 minutes. Then I am ready to remove the ground beef, put it in a plate and continue with this amazing recipe. Look at this. Once you have all your ground beef in the plate, put it aside and continue with the rest of the ingredients. I have one whole onion. I am going to use half of the onion to give that sauce an amazing flavor. And I'm going to use the other half to get it nice and crispy. So here I'm gonna reserve this one. And this one here, I am going to put it in the blender with the tomatoes. Of course, I am going to add two cups of hot water and three teaspoons of chicken bouillon to make this amazing and delicious creamy sauce for our chile poblanos. One cup and a half of sour cream, two cups of the broth, of the chicken broth we just made, and we are going to blend blend it completely we want it nice and creamy and delicious now i am ready to take the skin off of my chile poblanos look how easy it is when you have them nice and roasted when with the same knife i'm going to remove all the skin and i'm going to open it through the center and then get all the seeds out especially the center just like that look at this look how easy this is to remove everything and of course get it nice and clean from the inside i am going to continue with the rest doing the same thing i have my queso fresco i am going to just add it inside of the chile poblano right on the bottom 
press it in. It doesn't have to keep its own shape and then fill it with the ground beef and top it off with the melting cheese. Look at this. This looks gorgeous. I'm going to continue doing the same thing to each chile poblan. Let me tell you, once you make this amazing and delicious recipe, you are going to continue enjoying these amazing stuffed chile poblanos with ground beef and two types of cheese, queso fresco and Monterrey Jack cheese. And of course, be very generous with your filling. This is the best part. You decide what to add to your ground beef. Once you have everything nice and stuffed, we are going to go to the same pan. We're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil and we are going to fry the onion. You want the onion to really release the amazing aroma and flavor. Look at this. We're adding just a little bit of the vegetable oil. Once this is golden brown, we're going to add that amazing and creamy sauce. Mix it very well. Remember to add a little bit of water to your blender cup so you don't leave anything behind. Once it's nice and bubbling, I am going to start introducing my chile poblanos. I'm not going to cover them. I'm just going to lay them on top of this amazing and delicious creamy sauce. Look at this. They, this just looks so delicious and amazing. Cover it, cook it for about four minutes, and then the cheese has melted completely, and I'm ready to prepare the presentation plate. Of course, I added some white rice and a little veggie on the time on the top called loroco. I am ready to cut it through the center so you see how delicious and the layers of the cheese and the ground beef look. This looks amazing, my friends. Like, subscribe and share. And I am ready to enjoy. I'll see you in a bit. with two types of cheese and with ground beef. I am going to enjoy it with the white rice, but let me tell you, once you make it, you are really going to fall in love with this amazing recipe. Of course, I wanna get a little bit of everything, and this is the part I love and enjoy, tasting my recipes, excuse me. Mmm, 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 so delicious. This tomato sauce really absorbed all those amazing flavors of the poblano pepper. I really love it. Excuse me. Mmm, mmm. So delicious. I hope, my friends, you make it and you enjoy it with your beautiful family. If you like and love this amazing recipe, like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget, to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make an amazing and delicious recipe, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. I will stay enjoying this amazing stuffed poblano pepper. See you soon. Bye-bye.